people, welcome to a new lesson of React. Today we're going to talk about event handling in React. We are going to use a function inside class component and the one inside the functional component and um, use it inside an on-click event to change some state. So let's get started. In every web application there is user interaction. When user interacts with the application, some events are fired. For example, mouse clicks, mouse over, change events. I will show you how to handle these events in React and we are going to use the on-click event. But the concept works uh, for others as well. So we have the state. We are iterating through users array and we are returning a user component with the user data. And here we show it inside. So let's make a button. Click. Now let's create a message inside the state. Message to be hello. And now we need to, s to pass this message as a prop inside the user. So message equals to we destructure the message, this.state.message, and send it inside the props. So now we can have access to it inside the user component through props. Here we destructure the message and we show the message here. Message. So it will say hello David. Okay. Now we need to use a click event, on click event, and a function to change the state of the message from hello to goodbye, for example. So inside the user list, let's make a function. Um, message click handler. And let's console log an event. Now we need to send this function to props so we can use it on this button inside the component. So message click handler equals to this to reference the component and message click handler. Now we are sending this function inside the user component so we can have access to it. So now in vanilla JavaScript, without using JSX, you will do on click and use a string. For example, message click handler. But in React, by using JSX, we need to use the camel case on click or on change. So on click equals to Let's destructure the function message click handler and we just send it here. And now if we press the click button, it will show the event and it will trigger function event. Okay, so now let's change the message from hello to goodbye. So this dot set state message goodbye. Hello David. So now it will throw an error because this inside the function is referencing to the scope of the function, not the scope of the component. So we don't have the method set state inside this function. It's inside the component. So in order to fix this, we need to bind this to the this to the scope of the function so we get access to the set state, which is a method that we get we inherit from extending from the pure component or from the React component. But I will show you in the next video how to bind the events inside React. So to fix this now we will need to use an arrow function. So their function automatically binds to this. So now we get access to the set state and we won't have this error anymore. So now change it to goodbye. 
Now let's comment this dot set state and talk more about the event handler. So the event handler is a function, not a function call. So it won't work if we call this here. It won't work anymore. So in order to send, for example, uh, more parameters, if we call this uh, normally, it will have the event as a parameter. But if you want to send another uh, parameter, we'll need to use an error function and call this dot message click handler here. And now we get the event from the uh, function and send it to the first parameter here. But the problem with this is that if we pass as props here inside the, to the component, it will cause re-rendering, extra re-rendering. So it, in big applications, it, it might be a performance problem. So it's better to send the, the function alone, not uh, called. And here we should use uh, an error function and call it here. event as the event now it should, it should work so now we can send uh, the user as the second parameter user and now we can have access to it here user now if you console log it it will work so this is how we send more parameters inside the function now let's change the name of the user with this function. So we have the name as the third parameter. And now let's use name here, the name as a string. So let's say John. Okay, now let's console log the name. We have the John here, name John. And after that, let's go and make a const users equals to and let's copy inside the new array object sign take an array as the first parameter and after that this dot state dot users so we have new users here and we will need to go through each one of them so users for each get username user item as a parameter so now if we console look this user item it should see here this item so now if user item id the um, user inside the array equals to the user from the second parameter id the one we clicked on and let's change the name from the one inside the array to the name we send inside the third parameter name which is from here John and now if you uncomment this and we pass the new changed array to users Now, if we click here, it will say goodbye, John. Goodbye, John. Okay, now let's use uh, some functions um, inside the functional component. So, inside the functional component, we need to make a function user click handler, pass the event. Now, let's console log the event. Now, inside on click. Pass user click handler. Now if we click, we get the event. If we need to use with more parameters, use our function event. We call this. Let's check if it works. Okay, it works. Let's send the second parameter, the user itself. We console log it here inside of the function user it works if we want um, to use function expressions do it like this const user click handler 
an error function. I use this approach a lot. So now it works. So that would be it for event handling in React. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.